You are now listening to the Divorce Diaries podcast with your host, well, that's a secret. No names, ages, or any other identifying characteristics will be used as we protect the young and innocent. You'll be taken on a journey as one man considers getting a divorce or remaining married. The Divorce Diaries daily entries chronicle the decision-making processes in real time as they unfold day by day. He hopes to add a bit of clarity to his sometimes muddled mess of a marriage. Cheating, overspending, sex, sadness and betrayal are the characteristics of this marriage. Is he making the right choice? Welcome to the Divorce Diaries. Entire seasons are released on Patreon weeks before anywhere else. At Divorce Diaries Podcast Patreon page. Link below in description. Now for today's episode. This is a public service announcement to kind of shout out therapy again i know that's been a recurring theme in the divorce diaries podcast for quite some time now um i believe that we have a lot of things that confuse us as we're trying to solve our problems um, get over our issues and get through things and sometimes having a professional coach quote unquote in the form of a therapist uh, for your mind may be good if you need a if you really don't know how to train in the gym or if you're intimidated by that probably should get yourself a professional trainer personal trainer someone that knows more so that they can coach you up and today i had um as you know i've had to secure legal counsel uh, because my soon-to-be ex-wife retained a lawyer and kind of made it very clear that She kind of, I guess, didn't want to talk to me or that that we couldn't speak probably because of, you know, I I hadn't really communicated maybe as much as I should have or shouldn't have. So I don't know what the reasons were, but she's retained a lawyer and I'm responding, I guess, and working with my lawyer. And there are a few things that I was kind of considering doing or not doing or confused about, but having a lawyer assist you through some of these things sort of makes you feel good you've hired another professional to help you with the things that you don't know um my plan was to never get divorced so i'm not i i was not planning on getting a lot of reps in as far as divorce is concerned i did not plan on like i i I don't know um i used to play a sport and we'll call it golf I don't know how many putts I've put over the course of my golf life, practicing from the time I was little to the time I was a teenager to now, how many putts have I actually hit? I know a lot about golf and at times I needed to have a golf coach and that's how things go. You should get a coach when you don't know how to do something. And I'm, but now I could probably teach someone how to putt a golf ball. But I can't teach someone how to go through a divorce and kind of get through that as best they can. I can't teach someone that. But a lawyer that has done this over and over and sort of knows it like the back of their hand and they understand, I don't know, um, the legal system, the jurisdiction in which you may or may not be filing for something and whatever else comes with the whole, oh, we know how to do this. That's a really good thing to have so if you are going through a divorce um retain a lawyer if you can afford it and i'm almost going to say retain a lawyer if you cannot afford it because i also feel that way as far as therapy is concerned get yourself a therapist if you can afford it and also get yourself a therapist if you can't afford it the benefits that I found from being in therapy, it just makes me think of, wow, had I thought this through before, had I considered what it was like not being in therapy versus what I know now, being in therapy, I would have done everything humanly possible to get myself into therapy much sooner. This is... It's tough. It's very tough. 
So I just um, wanted to sort of extend that to everyone that's going through something, going through a divorce, going through something with their kid's mom, their kid's dad, their whatever. Get yourself some therapy. And as you go through this process, get a lawyer. Um, I think they just saved me um, a lot of heartache today. And maybe I'll be able to go into it later, maybe not. But um, one um, is concerning this podcast specifically. I have basically now, this is um, December 30, what is this? Uh, December 31st, 2021. And after speaking with them, I was going to, I had all of these episodes um, scheduled to start coming out at the beginning of 2022. Uh, Bi-weekly releases and all of that, no more. I am not doing this because I'm, I learned that these things could possibly be discoverable. And that's crazy to consider that me publishing an anonymous podcast, no names, voice changing, all these things could possibly land me in some hot water and find myself being sued or something like that. And it's just, it sucks. It sucks knowing that this world isn't fair. It sucks learning that my wife isn't who I thought she was. And it also sucks that I've found out that my wife is exactly who I thought she is. She's manipulating therapy sessions. She's lying to lots of family about what happened between us. She's in full recruitment mode for allies. She doesn't care that she's hurting her children. She doesn't care that she's removing access from her children to their father. She somehow had three children with me, allowed me to take care of her for so many years. And I did say allowed me to because now she's no longer allowing me to. But she still expects me to. She still wants me to pay for certain things and bills for her, which is um, very interesting. Um, but yeah, she um, it's just very interesting, all the things with my wife that are happening. And I'm like, wow, I guess this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like when people that were maybe never in love start to act like they always should have along the way. It just, man... It's tough. It's very tough. And watching my little one, my youngest, go through this, it's been tough watching my middle child go through this and then choose her mom's side and sort of force herself to forget all the good that I was for her as a dad. And then watching my youngest be caught in the middle and watching her struggle to reconcile, like, my dad isn't this horrible. Why do you guys keep saying it? He keeps doing this, but you guys keep saying he's this way. These things aren't matching up, and she's slowly just coming to the understanding of, geez, who's lying to me? And she's figuring it out that it's the people that she's living with. I just feel so badly for her. A kid and needing to trust an adult is, geez. rough all right my heart's breaking right now wow that was the divorce diaries podcast the daily saga will continue tomorrow the full season's episodes are on patreon now subscribe for early access click the patreon link in the description Hopefully, these entries help our anonymous recorder as a form of his own personal therapy. That's his hope and his intention. Will these recordings of life's curveballs lead this family to the best resolution in the end? We'll keep listening. New episodes are released daily on all podcast players, but all episodes are available on Patreon. At Divorce Diaries Podcast Patreon page. Until next time.